Hi everyone, this is LaDonna Briggs from Sweet Potato Pie Nursery and I am getting ready to mix some paints to paint on top my old composition dolls because I'm going to restore several of them. So here is the same head. This one I bought and I'm going to restore it. Someone has already restored it, but this is the flesh color that I'm going to try to get. And I painted this using one shot paint. It's a really shiny paint, so I do have to mix um, cornstarch with it. So I haven't painted for about five years. So I'm gonna have to stir these paints. And this is my white, which is going to be my main color. And then I'm gonna mix a little yellow and red. And I'm just going to brush this on my um, doll heads and I'll do it. It takes about two to three hours for each coat to dry and I'm going to mix cornstarch accordingly. So if it's too shiny, then I'm going to add a little more cornstarch to the next layer. So this actual paint without any corn cornstarch in it dries like glass. It would be as shiny as whoever painted this one. I mean, see how shiny and gross that is? That's, we don't want that. So this is mixed with some cornstarch and I have a little bit of a sheen, but I don't have a lot. So I'm going to mix my glass jar. So if you seal these paints up good, so I just guess on this, so, but I do want to get enough that I'm going to not have to keep mixing this up. So I'm going to, I'm going to fill at least halfway full of white because white is my main color that I'm going to use. And I need a little bit more than half of that. It's been a while since I've done this, so I've kind of forgot, but I know yellow. I use quite a little bit of yellow too. So let me open this yellow. I'm gonna have to stir it too. None of this was stirred. It's been setting. I don't think I've had to paint quite five years because I have an uncle who does sign painting and I buy my paints through him. One shot. This, he's a professional sign painter, and whenever I started doing this, he suggested that I use it. It's really, really good paint, and it covers cracks. Um, if you have fine cracks, it'll just fill them in. And I think that's one of the reasons I really like it. This paint really settled to the bottom, though, so I'm having to stir pretty deep. Make sure when you're stirring that you get the bottom. So this I'm going to put, we're just going to kind of see. As you can see, it's too white. But I'm going to put a drop now of red. And so I'm just going to slowly keep stirring and trying to get the right consistency. And it, it takes a little time to kind of get what you like. So that looks terrible. I thought I had another stirring knife. This one will work. So I'm just gonna need a little drop. You gotta be really careful with the red because a little bit goes a long ways. And this is called Fire Red. This is an oil-based paint, so it, it also does really good in my airbrush, which I will airbrush the hair, but the actual flesh color, I don't. Okay, I think that's good. So. I am just going to put, 
I'm going to need more than that, but we'll just see how far that goes. Still pretty yellow, so I'm definitely going to need a little bit more red. So I can start to get a little pink look. Still not getting any pink yet. That still looks really yellow. So. I didn't get too much, but I can always add more. Now that's definitely turning more flesh color. As you can see, I'm going to try to get this up, up here. But I didn't need near as much red as I did yellow. Can you see that's a nice flesh color? Now, I'm going to, I know that it takes a lot of cornstarch, so I don't have much in this bottle and I'm probably gonna need more than what I have in here. I'm just guessing. So, I have a, So I'm gonna stir that in. Now, the only way to really test this is to do a coat and you let it dry, and then you'll just see how glossy it is. Main thing is just to get it really stirred well. And I'm thinking that that is similar to that color. So, I'm gonna have to clean all this up. But that's kind of how I mix it, and then I'll clean up and I'll start painting some coats on and show you how I do that. Thanks for watching.